what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome to the next part in this model driven application we're gonna actually create the model driven application in this video so in the last video we talked about using a appointment table which was created by Microsoft and also the contact table as well and so we've set up our lookup column to look to our contact table and we're actually going to build our model driven application so let's go ahead and get started so here we are at make.powerapps.com we want to make sure that we are in the correct environment so in the upper right hand corner that's the first thing that we always check is that we're in the correct environment so make sure you're in your environment and we're going to now create a model driven application so we're going to go to apps over on the left hand side you could also select the create option as well so I'm gonna select apps and we're gonna create a new application so here at the top we're simply gonna select new app and it's gonna ask us what kind of app we want to create and we're creating a model driven application once again model driven application are designed for data entry so I'm going to select model driven and I'm going to call this model driven app contact appointment and we're going to go ahead and create this application now with model driven application once again you need to set up the tables the forms to enter data and edit data and also the views to see the data as well once you navigate to this UI we need to add a page so there's several ways you could do that I'm highlighting here the three different ways that you can add a page with inside of this model driven application feel free to choose whatever you prefer whatever's easiest so I'm just gonna select add page down here at the middle of the screen and then it's going to ask me what is the content for this page and so I'm going to be choosing the dataverse table remember we had two tables we had our contact table we also had our appointment table as well and so I'm going to select next this is where it's going to ask you to choose the tables that you want to use in your model driven application and so the two that I want to use are the contact table and I also want to choose the appointment table as well so I have two different tables the appointment table and the contact table once again in the appointment table we created a lookup column to our contact table and we're going to click add notice now over here on the left hand side we have our two different tables the appointment table and the contact table as well now we talked about how there's multiple forms and multiple views available inside of these tables if you want to modify which forms and which views are available inside the model driven application if you use this section over here on the left you'll be able to choose which forms and which views you're going to be using inside this application so if I select appointment forms okay over on the right hand side you're going to see all the different forms that are available inside of this table and so the one that we are going to be using here is this appointment main form but you can add and remove the forms that you don't want available as well as the views as well so if I select the contact views you can see all of the views available here on the right hand side so our app is somewhat complete and so what we're going to do here is we're simply going to publish this and we're going to use this model driven application right away notice here is the form okay there's our contact look up here and so that will allow us to look up to a specific contact so I'm gonna go ahead and publish this application so to create a model driven application you need to start with the tables 
the views in the form and we're going to play our application so I'm gonna click play in the upper right hand corner and this has now created our application it's gonna look very similar to the page that we were already on so here we are we can see here's my appointments there's no data available no appointment has be, been created and if I select contacts we're gonna see that we have no contacts as well but one thing you need to know is in the upper left hand corner up here notice that this says my active contacts well this is the view that you're looking at so remember the view is how we're going to see the data once it's entered the view that I'm going to be looking at is the all contacts view remember that's where the view we were looking at inside of the table and for appointments the same way if I go to appointments this is selected the my appointments notice that we do not have that contact lookup column that we added this is because the view that we used was the all appointments view so I'm gonna select the all appointments view here and you now see that view that we created has the contact lookup Okay, so the view that you're looking at is important. All right, let's go ahead and create a new appointment by selecting appointment at the top of the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and select appointment. And so once again, the business required fields is a subject and also we made that contact lookup required as well. So for the subject here, I'm gonna say new client appointment. That's gonna be the subject here. And then the contact lookup here, because we do not have any contacts available, it cannot find any. But remember the quick create form we were talking about in the last video? If I select new contact down here, a quick create form for the contact now appears notice it here on the right hand side and so I can create you can also put a job title in here let's do manager and we're gonna save and close so this is gonna save this contact with inside of our contact table now that I've created the contact you can see that it is now available with inside of the contact lookup. Notice it also tells me that if I try to skip this step, it is required and it must be filled in. So if I click the search here, notice my contact comes up. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my name here and we're going to click save. Now two things are gonna happen in our appointments table so if I select appointments over here on the left hand side we're gonna see our new client appointment here but once again the view that we're looking at is the my appointments view so this is where you can change your views inside of the model driven creation to default to a specific view or only give specific views available for your employees and so I'm gonna select the all appointments view so that I can see the contact lookup so here I am there's my name associated to this particular appointment if I go to my contacts table notice that there is my name so there's the contact that we created so this is the purpose of those quick create forms to quickly be able to add information into the other tables I can also change this to my all contacts and you can also see it available here as well so as you can see model driven applications are designed for data entry and data monitoring and with the availability of the dataverse tables that are already created by Microsoft it makes it relatively easy to create these model driven applications we're gonna get into more in-depth model driven applications as we go through this series if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content
I'll see you in the next one.